Good evening. Thank you for joining me for Compline tonight. We are in my upstairs room that I've cleaned up a bit. Kept it really simple for the moment. You know, Lent is a time of repentance, which means to turn again. So always returning to our source, and that source being God. And so while as Episcopalians, we don't dwell on our faults and failures too much. Just as humans, we do it plenty on our own. But we remember that we're always we're seeking for God to create within us clean hearts. Because we're, we're all sinners saved by grace. And we're on this journey of growth, forgiveness, mercy. So this song called Create In Me, uh, it's in a book I have. So... It's not hard, it's based off Psalm 51. Thank you for joining me on that. It's a good place to meditate on during Lent, that journey of cleanliness of our heart. Feel up. Get your book of common prayer. We'll pray a compliment together. The Lord Almighty grant us a peaceful night and a perfect end. Our help is in the name of the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. Take a moment of silence. And just reflect on the distance and the journey and the goodness of God that is already present and working in your lives. Gracious God, you call us each by name. Take us each by hand and commit to being with us, for us, and all around us. Strengthen us at this time of Lent. 
We ask this in your Son, Jesus' name. Amen. Our psalm is Psalm 31. It's on page 129. In you, O Lord, have I taken refuge. Let me never be put to shame. Deliver me in your righteousness. Incline your ear to me. Make haste to deliver me. Be my strong rock, a castle to keep me safe. For you are my crag and my stronghold. For the sake of your name, lead me and guide me. Take me out of the net that they have secretly set for me. For you are my tower of strength. Into your hands I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, O Lord, O God of truth. Amen. Um, in grace notes, if you've been watching and reading the, the Vincent van Gogh reflection on Lent and the way the artist sees the light and how uh, his quest to paint the world in a way of, of, of humility and honesty and, and contact with nature is a way to know and understand God more fully. Um, so I've been reflecting on that. Our uh, reading from this past Sunday's Gospel, uh, a section of it to get us on track here, is from Luke chapter 4, and Jesus is in, in the temptation in the desert. Jesus, full of the Holy Spirit, returned from the Jordan and was led by the Spirit in the wilderness, where for 40 days he was tempted by the devil. He ate nothing at all during those days, and when they were over, he was famished. The devil said to him, If you are the Son of God, command this stone to become a loaf of bread. Jesus answered him, It is written, One does not live by bread alone. Amen. And when we reflect on that passage in just that one section, there's an exchange here where the, the devil is trying to get Jesus to trust in himself and what he can do in provisions, outside things, rather than God. And Jesus is making this profound statement and action of faith to trust God above all things, even above our most basic need of eating and bread. Van Gogh's paintings, particularly if you look on the Grace Notes and in the Van Gogh Reflection this week, he, he pulls up the, the painting of, of the potato eaters. And it's a family at a table sharing a meal around potatoes. And it's very humble and simple. And Van Gogh used only the colors of potatoes for his, his palette. And the different parts and things of art in our lives reflect who we are. So we kind of wonder, like, what would be the color palette of my life? I randomly grabbed some art that we had laying around here. Um, this is a very classic icon type painting that Kathy had from way back. And from that time, how it's, it, it captures a deep religious sense in a very plain way. Now, we had a young person who has actually gone on to be a very good artist. She did this years ago for Kathy, and it's her interpretation of an angel. And Certain Van Gogh, you don't know her, but uh, the face of the angel is not real. Not real different than the, the young lady's face. But it catches a, a beauty and a sense that she was trying to climb somewhere, which makes sense for someone who's 14, 15. One of the things uh, about Van Gogh, really, that we often find is that he would capture the beauty of nature quite a bit. Now, these are famous, I'll get that light off of there. Um, just wildlife paintings that, um, obviously it's a print, I can't afford paintings, but that, you know, speaks to us in a way as we say things like, you know, how you know, nature grabs us and opens us up to God's presence as we watch it in life. And finally, oops, I haven't gone anywhere. And finally, uh, 
I don't know when we did this now. Was it Christmas time? Probably. Uh, one of our parishioners had a uh, paint party uh, with a handful of folks, and somebody came in and just walked us through. And the theme was a cross and a heart. And to put those together, and this was my uh, reflection on that. Um, you know, I didn't think so much about the colors other than the actual colors of each thing, but I, you know, in the end, it ended up being something that reflected what I was feeling at the time. I, I called it overcoming our troubles, which is very appropriate these days. But all the different symbols of both cloud and sun, you know, heart and cross, you know, the ground and the sky. Anyway, we, the point is to say that we can find different ways to reflect who we are um, in different ways and, 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 and what God is doing in our lives and it can bring it out in a new way. Okay, this is my first attempt at doing this live, so bear with me. Um, let's do the prayers on page 132. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed to keep track of all of Stella's medicine, so ignore that. Starting over. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed. <clears throat> You have redeemed me, O Lord, O God of truth. Keep us, O Lord, as the apple of your eye. Hide us under the shadow of your wings. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us, save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. Bottom of page 134. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Amen. Now, as a special treat, and I clear my throat when I say special and treat, uh, this is um, Don McLean's song called Vincent, i.e. Starry Starry Night. I'm going to attempt to sing it. I thought it was a neat capture of, of Van Gogh. Starry Starry Night Paint your palette blue and gray Look out on a summer's day With eyes that know Darkness in my soul, shadows on a hill. Sketch the trees and the daffodils. Catch the breeze and the winter chills. And colors on the snowy linen land. Now I understand what you tried to say to me. And how you suffered for your sanity. How you tried to set them free They would not listen They did not know how Perhaps they'll listen now Starry, starry night Flaming flowers that brightly blaze Swirling clouds in violet haze Reflecting Vincent's eyes of channel blue Colors changing hue Morning fields of amber grain Weathered faces lined with pain A soothe beneath the artist's loving hand Now I understand What you tried to say to me And how you suffered for your sanity how you tried to set them free They would not listen They did not know how Perhaps they'll listen now For they could not love you Still your love was true And when no hope was left in sight On that starry, starry 
night You took your life as lovers often do But I could have told you, Vincent This world was never meant for one as beautiful as you Starry, starry night Portraits hung in empty halls Frameless heads on nameless walls With eyes that watch the world and can't forget Like the strangers that you've met The ragged men in ragged clothes The silver thorn, the bloody rose the Crushed and oh, crushed and broken on the virgin snow now I think I know What you tried to say to me And how you suffered for your sanity And how you tried to step them free They would not listen, they're not listening still Perhaps they never Lord, bless us with hearts and love and beauty in the world and help us to see with new light ourselves the way you see us in this Lent. Well, all the time, but sorry. You get it. Good night.